Uh, I come back to work on the Alan Slade Juno Masterclass every year because uh, I've been involved with a number of mentors over my life. And this is an opportunity to have access to people, um, you know, Cardi and Sam Roberts and Max from the Arkells and Lights and myself who have, who have done some things um, and achieved levels of success. And so uh, to get there, they've all had mentors and I've had mentors and they've been unbelievably powerful and accelerated my growth very quickly at certain times. Where are you from? Fairview. I don't know if you have, you've been at Halifax. Halifax yeah. Fairview, Halifax. I don't sure. know if you know where that is. Great. But right on. Yeah. Welcome to Toronto. Thank you. Great shoes. Thank you. This guy's shoe game. Top shelf. Where are you at in your life? What's going on with you guys? Um, just trying to make it in the music industry. You know how it is. What would you define by that? What do you mean by making it? Oh, what is uh, that? To me, and like ultimately, what that would look like is to be a um, national and inter international touring artist. And what is it that is the main catalyst of what can happen in order for you to get from where you are to the Canada Center? I guess is what it's still called. Is yeah. it? What would yeah. what would be the thing? Um, I think songs are going to be. There's the answer. Ding ding component. ding ding ding. Yeah. yeah. Well, the reason we're we uh, the somewhat title of this event is about songs. I think it's mm. is because I, that's my experience. One hundred percent is the number one driver of all of this is the song. Mm -hmm. You know, you can have great music, but you don't necessarily have any great songs. Mm -hmm. You can have great energy at your show where people are into you as your personas or you know your pushing out there and they love the energy amongst their the community is having a great time and then they leave the venue and they're not singing any of the songs. Mm -hmm. uh, I really like the session with Gavin a lot. Um, I had no idea what to expect. A lot of people around here kind of warned us before the session about what it might entail and like you know it might be a little bit more psychological than anything. I'm also gonna before we go anywhere yes. else, um, I'm gonna point something out. None right. of your songs are in present tense. They're all in the past. Yeah, I like, I, what happened am I too much before? of a reminiscer? I'm really focused on my lyrics. I love songwriting and it's, it's you know, it's a passion of mine, lyrics, really having good, great lyrics that have some depth to them. And uh, he definitely made me look at my music in a way that I've never looked at it before or never thought to look at it before. Uh, starting here, I showed you a taste of fame and you love it. Yeah. Imagine if you said, Imagine if you just got it out into present tense. I show you a taste of fame and you love it. I bring you backstage. We skip the line. Oh, you know, and it right? makes it more exciting because yeah. it's like, yeah. nah. I'll introduce you to everyone who's someone. Yeah. And when we're through, you know. Yeah, and then whatever. Yeah, yeah that's, you know? that's, that's, wow. Yeah. You know, then, you know, right? you know what I mean? It makes it more, like, yeah, exciting. It's way more exciting. Yeah. Yeah. What I was going to begin to say is that Gavin's, like, a very forceful person, you know what I mean? And he's not afraid to tell you the things that you don't want to hear, which is the thing that you have to end up appreciating. Um, but I think what is amazing about him is his goal is clarity um, and and that's something that we should be striving for. So you're you're taking your metaphor, and then you're not then you're even hiding further behind something by not even using the metaphor that exists in the language. Because it would be trite in like a lot of ways. It's the whole thing. Then is why like, would you want to write a song that's trite in the first place? So what what usually happens in these in this room is that we start off looking at at the, what people are trying to achieve and quickly realize that the best way to achieve their goals is by having great songs. And then we discuss what is a great song, uh, you know, how to achieve clarity um, through the lyrical content mostly. Uh, you know, everything, in my opinion, flows from the top of the mountain. Once you have a great lyric, then in an emotional song with a great plot, a great thesis, a great title, then all of the recording elements can follow from that. That seemed to be about the point in the song when you should have the title coming in. <laughs> so, you know, again, your title is, is the relationship that you have to the song. Mm. You're not saying the word something like summer, mm. ever, you know. Um, you might want to do that. He got me in particular to just kind of take this weight off of my shoulders when it comes to songwriting and making music that like, I'm not making music just for me. Like, yeah, I'm making it for me because I love it and I love making music and you know, all that stuff, but Ultimately, I want to share 
the music with the masses, with as many people as possible. I want to make people happy by making music for them. I'll give you my, my thing that I give everybody, which is, this is your song, right? So yeah. we're, you're, the, you're the artist, this is your relationship with the song, yeah. right? Over here is the relationship that the audience has with your song. Yeah. It has nothing to do with this relationship whatsoever. No. They don't know you, no. they're never going to know you. You know, you could live with them for 20 years and they still don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Marriage. If there's a lot of people just saying, giving you the yes man or, you know, trying to console you or sugarcoat it, it's not really going to get to the root of your problems that you might need help with. So I appreciated that he was uh, very blunt and, uh, you know, I took it with, I took it just as he's trying to help me and look out for me. I didn't take it as offensive. See, to me, I thought without knowing that it's, you think it's about feminism, I think it's a really good idea. Like what I think it's about as a listener mm -hmm. is, a, is a classic rebellion song. You know, f you know, we don't need no education. It's, you know, come on with me, kids. We're going to do our, be ourselves, mm -hmm. which in and of itself is a dynamite theme. In proving them wrong, you basically just prove them right. But like, <laughs> that, that is the thing. I, I like having that, that person there, you know, um, as, you know, who will give it to you straight. I know you pretty well. Like, Not we've hung out before, and, yeah. and I really I respect what you're trying to do. I really do. And um, I think you're uber talented. Um, forgive me for, you know, overstepping my bounds here, but I think you got too much meat on the bone at all times mm -hmm. that the meal gets obscured. Like, it's just like, here's, like, there, you know, like, here's the buff, whatever the analogy is. There's a table full of food, and I don't know what to eat, because it's all, like, what? Like, you know what I mean? And if you just concentrated on w that one dish mm, that was the restaurant of ivory hours, you know, <laughs> when you come to our restaurant and you're going to eat this, because Radiohead does it. You know what you're getting from Radiohead. Like, you know, the first record had a thing. S the Ben their Benz came along and it had a thing, you know? So we usually have a, go through a threshold of fear into honesty and then honesty goes into a great place where people actually then see the, that they can get to where they're, they really feel that they can get to. It may and not I think be if I'm being like entirely honest. Yeah. I th like I love that it sucks to hear that kind of stuff. Yeah. And, but in order to develop, it's great. And I know that I have like hidden behind mm -hmm. some complexity. Yeah to make up for maybe not being fully confident in my voice or not yeah. being fully confident in this or that thing. And I think the ultimate, like... We're, and we've all done that. Yeah. And I think that's part of growing, yeah. you know, and we had the exact same thing with the three young girls from Montreal. People who climb Mount Everest, there's often people who die. There's a, like literally the trail up Mount Everest is littered with corpses. Mm. And you have a Sherpa to get up the mountain for a reason, right? If I'm gonna go to the base camp, which just takes a a lot of work you're kind of at base camp now but if you're going to go up the music business mountain you need help you need a sherpa or you will surely die mm -hmm. and you know and you will you know you're already at the, trying to climb the mountain and you're falling you know you know what i mean maybe you yeah, know what i mean yeah, and totally. it's you're realizing holy shit, it's gonna hurt mm -hmm. you know and maybe someone else has been up there and come back down and gone up and come back down again and they can make it so at least i don't die yeah <laughs> you're still gonna do the climbing yourself mm -hmm. you know but some people can help you, so. According that, to that. The right Sherpa. The right Sherpa. <laughs> yeah. And we'll end on that note. The awesome. right Sherpa. And even Confessions is like a whew. What are you, Edgar Allan Poe? You got, at least it's not like, <laughs> you know, yeah. you know. Um, Edgar Allan Flow. Yeah, yeah Edgar Allan Flow. Well done. Well, I lived. I went to part of grade twelve in Madrid, and I was right near the Prado Museum. Mm. And I went there, and I know, like I failed grade eight art. Like I can't draw. I can barely like look at my lines. Like, <laughs> I can't even draw a line. Mm. You know. Do you hear specific types of singers for songs? Like, like I'm like I wonder like who would have like a type of voice that would kill. Why don't song? you sing it? I could, but. As my voice cracks, as I just say I could. Let's try it. Yeah, but I don't know. Well, Kanye can sing, so anybody can sing. 